in a dead spot. He knew the pile was oh, there arriving. It is. <laughs> Hold on. I came back. Okay. So I want to give Eric my initial thoughts about the rapture issue. So I've always said this since interacting online that the state of the dead absolutely comes to bear down, and this is exactly that t- that moment. What do I mean? About going to heaven or not? When do people go to heaven? Do people go to heaven? How do people go to heaven? How does it come to bear on how we understand the rapture? Well, I'll tell you this. Look at the look at the context of John 13, starting in verse 1 and 2 in John 13, and then particularly in John 14. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, because he's, he's preparing to die, go to the cross and then ascend to his father. That's the context of John 13 and John 14 is connected. In John 14, so the, you see it over and over in the two chapters. Jesus is going to his father's house because he's going to die and then raise and then ascend. That's what, But that's ultimately the context. In John 14, he says, I... You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. For was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, so that where I am, there you will be also. And where do we see the saints? In heaven, on the sea of glass. The marriage supper of the Lamb is in heaven. So he is taking them to his Father's house. And there's other verses I could go into, but I'll leave it at that. But he's going to his Father's house to prepare a place. It's a Jewish wedding motif. The Jewish uh, husband or you know, bridegroom would go prepare a place on his father's house, a marriage chamber, a consummation chamber. And the good, and the faithful bride is watching for his return, even into the night watch. You see this theme all through the scriptures because the story of the scriptures is getting a bride for the son. And that bride is a virgin. She's not a harlot. And whether he comes in the first watch or the second or the third, we're in the third watch. And she has an oil, a lamp full of oil, so that it doesn't go out into the night, watching for the return of the bridegroom. Jesus plays on this motif in Matthew 24, and it's mentioned all through the New Testament and in the Old Testament. So she's watching for his return to take his bride, come back for his bride when the marriage chamber is ready, so that he can take her to his father's house and consummate the marriage. 